Go John, first question on the right side, third row or second row. Joe, John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, I guess, first of all, you've been so intense throughout this whole thing. What does it feel like to accomplish the goal? <laughs> um, it feels good. Uh, I think the most important thing, something that's really been really going through my mind throughout this process is you can't lose sight uh, of the people that came before us. And um, I want to make sure every person that's worked for the Celtics, that's played for the Celtics, that didn't win, uh, knows that their work and what they've done hasn't gone unnoticed or it doesn't play a part in where we're at today. It can be so easy when you work for this organization and you don't win that the work that people put in uh, just gets brushed over or gets ignored. And um, when I first got here, the staff, you know, Brad's coaching, the staff that they had, the, the foundation that they built with these guys when they were young, the foundation of what we have is one of the reasons why we're here today. Um, and so I think that that's one of the first things that came to mind was just because we won this doesn't mean what the people have done before us isn't just as important. Fifth row on the left. It's been Fox Sports. Um, the Payton shot, what did that mean for you guys? Oh, the and did you put him in specifically for that? Yes. Um, Payton's one of the best competitors. He's one of my favorite people in the, in the world. Um, just the way he competes, the professionalism, and uh, just for his ability to take pride in stuff like that. Um, I've, he's really grown as a player this year to becoming a well-rounded player on both ends of the floor, and he won us games, and uh, I think he won us moments. And, you know, as the playoffs go on, obviously sub patterns change and things change, but, like, those guys have to win moments of games for you, and, and Peyton did that twice for us, and um, that is just as important as any other plays that happened uh, throughout the series and in the playoffs alone. And, uh, you know, I got a, a huge heart for him. Standing on your left, Tim. Uh, Joe, you so much of what you – believe in is sort of sticking with what you guys do and consistently doing it over and over again. What, it, what has it meant to you to see your group do that throughout the course of the season and come back from the way last year ended and ca cap it off the way you guys have tonight? Yeah, I mean, it it's really starts with them. I mean, you can't have a philosophy or a way of playing if you don't have a group of guys that are willing to buy into it and willing to be disciplined for it. And quite honestly, like this group of guys has been through so much in the league. Uh, they know what it takes. And, um, and so just... It's more about that when you have a group of guys that have an understanding of what it takes using the experiences that you've been through. And um, that, that to me is, is more than anything. So it was a joy watching the guys uh, just grow as a team throughout the year, but also like really work at it. You know, like there's a group of guys in that locker room that decided they wanted to win on day one. And uh, they worked at it every single day. And so credit, credit to them. And what did it mean to you guys to have Chris Stapps fight to get on the court the way yeah. he did and give you guys the minutes he was able to? That was awesome. Uh, it's, a, it's a huge credit to him. Like I said, I know he's been in and out in the playoffs, but he's worked his ass off trying to get it to play as much as he could. And for it just says about the team. Like, everyone's going to do whatever it takes to win. And even though he wasn't 100%, uh, he, he said he wanted to play, and he, uh, he knew he could give us something. And I thought the minutes that he gave us were valuable. So it just speaks to who he is, and it speaks to the locker room. We're going to go Jay, fourth row on the right. I mean, uh, John, then Jay in the back, and then Chris Apps is going to come up. Uh, Coach, as you guys were putting up historical numbers in the regular season as far as point differential, efficiency, top two on both ends of the floor, I wonder how important was that to you as an anal analytical person in regards to sort of checking boxes and you know building towards, towards where you are now? Um, I mean, those were actual numbers. We live in an expected world, so... Um, we didn't pay much attention to the actual numbers, but to me, it was just paying attention more to the process of what we were doing. And uh, there were obviously some things that we had to improve upon from last year analytically to, uh, you know, to make up for some of the stuff that uh, we lost. And uh, the guys bought into that. So uh, to me, it was just more of the process of making sure uh, we're playing the right way, making sure um, you know, we're, we're attacking the game analytically in the right way, but also having the, the open-mindedness and the discipline to kind of do some of the other stuff. So I thought it was a good balance. Jay, standing in the back left. You got the job under pretty crazy circumstances last season. Um, you faced criticism. You had calls for your job even at times last year. So how, how have these two seasons challenged you? How have they changed you? And how have they rewarded you? Um, I mean, I feel like it's going to be like that for the rest of my career, um, as it should be. You know, I think uh, just having an understanding that um, praise and criticism are both just as dangerous uh, if you don't handle them well. And I think we talked about that as a team this year, like winning is just as dangerous as losing if you don't handle it well. And I think our guys 
uh, handled winning the right way by, you know, whether we won or lost, we just moved on to the next game. So, you know, it, it, and it's Boston. Like, we wouldn't want it any other way. And um, I think the ownership and the responsibility to, to uh, give back to the franchise, give back to the city, give back to it, that's just part of it. Um, and so I think, it, but you need it. Like, you need that. You need criticism. Uh, you need praise. You need expectations. Th all, all those things go into making who you are as a person, making who you are as people, as an organization. So just have an understanding that they're never going to go away. If someone tells you good job, that, that's just as dangerous as someone telling you you suck. Uh, but you need both of them uh, in order to get to where you want to get to. And uh, there's no place they'd rather be. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Porzingis will be right up.